let's say that you mentioned to an electrician friend that you're going to buy a load center for your home and your friend told you to be sure and buy a convertible load center. Would you know what he was talking about? Well, let's look at a Siemens load center right out of the box. The main lugs are here. There are two types of load centers, main breaker and main lug only. Convertible load centers are those that can be converted from a main lug only load center to a main breaker load center. A main lug type load center does not have a main circuit breaker. The incoming supply cables are connected directly to the main lugs and bus bars. Main lug only load centers are used as a distribution panel where there is a main breaker upstream in the system. Main breaker load centers are suitable for use in service entrance applications. The incoming supply cables of a main breaker type load center are connected to the main breaker, which in turn feeds power to the load center and its branch circuits. A convertible load center should say on its specification sheet that it is convertible from main lug to main breaker. Now I'm going to show you how to convert a main lug only load center to a main breaker load center. So these are the main lugs right here and what you want to do is use a socket and take them out okay they come right out like that and we're not going to be using them i'm going to put them aside okay we're going to use these nuts though okay so here is our new breaker right here. This is a 150 amp uh, main breaker, and it has an item right here that goes right in here. Okay, and then there's another uh, place for this right here. It'll only go on one way, so you don't really have to worry about it. You put this right in here, and then these go over the bolts that stick out, and then you put your nuts back on like this. So this is called a convertible load center. We're converting it from a main lug only load center to a main breaker load center. Okay, so here I have my AC Delco torque wrench and I have it set to 45 inch pounds. I've, I found the torque for this on the sticker inside the panel door. All right, so it's 45 inch pounds, you put it on there. All right, a nice beep at 45. Okay, 45. So we got these torqued down properly. And we've got a new breaker here. See, on and off. I got it on and off. And it's best to put these on uh, before you install the panel. It's really safe that way. There's no uh, problem with electricity because it's you know it's not installed yet so that's a good time to do it now if you want to use this as a main service breaker you got to put in the bonding screw and we look on this sheet again and it says 45 inch pounds so you take you put your bonding screw in and this time I'm going to use my Weha I got this set to 45 inch pounds notice I got 45 inch pounds on the AC Delco and I got 45 inch pounds on the Weha. So I got my choice. Uh, these are, are better for the bolts and these are better for the screws, in my opinion. So, yeah, I just. This is, this is only if you need this for a, a main service breaker. For just a main breaker, then you don't want this. You don't want this bonded. You see, if there's a. A main breaker upstream, you do not bond this. You don't bond the neutral to the ground. But uh, let's say that we are using this for a service breaker. Okay, you got to put this in. I wish this uh, screwdriver had a ratchet on it. That'd be cool. But then it wouldn't be a torque screwdriver, would it? All right, so here we go. 
it's going to uh, click at 45 inch pounds. Get it right in the middle. There. There we go. Okay. 45 inch pounds, 45 inch pounds. This was also 45 inch pounds, by the way. 45 inch pounds. And so uh, there we go. We've just converted this from a main lug only to a main service breaker. If it's just a main breaker panel, you don't want this bonding screw. If it's a main service breaker panel, then you want the bonding screw. So now you install your cables here and here, and you torque these down. It happens to be 250 inch pounds. Uh, you find that on the sheet on the door panel again. Okay, these are lug protectors, and they go on right like this. See, your cable goes right through here. Put your cable on first, it'll go right over it. And then you put this on like that, and then you have lug protectors. By the way, these lug protectors come with this breaker. The main breakers that are acceptable for this particular load center are found, once again, on the large sticker on the door of the panel. I will put links in my video description for the Weha Torque Screwdriver, the AC Delco Torque Wrench, and I'll put a link for the load center that I showed in the video. Thanks, I hope this video was helpful. Mm -hmm.